Perry from One Direction. Yay! Hi. All right, so we promised our listeners that if you guys were going to say something this morning that they will never hear anywhere else. So what can you say that they will never hear anywhere else? Well, you're going to have to ask us questions. That we oh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I want to start with Carrie, is that okay? Yes. Carrie, I heard you have a thing for cougars, like older women. Tell me about this. Um, sometimes. Have you, had a, have you had a mother? I think it depends on the person. Have you, have you ever done anything with the mother of one of your fans? I'm not going to answer that question. Do you get hit on by moms a lot? Um, sometimes. Because it's kind of interesting because you guys are, you know, the typical bands that are younger guys, you guys are a little bit older than that, so you guys, typically, you guys could be with a mom, couldn't you? <laughs> um, yeah, I guess so. Well, it's an insane scene outside because every time a tour bus scoots a foot, all the girls, hundreds of them, go run into the fence screaming at the hopes that maybe one of you might jump out there. What's the craziest thing a fan has done to gain access to you guys? Uh, when we were in Sweden, somebody hid in a bin um, and tried to like come in the back entrance of the studio whilst in a bin. Um, <laughs> yeah. and they got like a caught. trash can? Yeah, like a trash can. <laughs> yeah, they got caught. And did they get busted, yeah, obviously? They got, yeah, they did they get to see up. you guys? Um, we could, I think we seen them afterwards, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. And yesterday, actually, we were in uh, Toronto huh. and it, we were separated by water from the fans and someone got on like a, like a surfboard that you stand up. <laughs> one of those stand-up boards? Yeah, and they started coming over to the thing. That's crazy. That's awesome. Harry, Harry and Zane, I saw the New York pictures of you guys just trying to, to move around the hotel and they broke the barricades down. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, I think Niall and Liam got the book that they tried to buy for dinner and were chased by like 600 girls to the restaurant. So you guys can't go anywhere. Do you do you miss the days of being able to walk the streets, or is this the greatest thing that's ever happened? It is absolutely the greatest thing that's ever happened, and like we can still do stuff. So you know we can't complain. It's amazing. There's a couple of uh, we're going to go through some listener uh, uh, Facebook and, and tweets that came through here. Emily goes to Northville High School. Says Zane, can I have a shout out? And by shout out, I mean can I have you <laughs> tattoo my face? Um. She wants me to tap who I, I, I think she wants I, I think she wants to put you basically uh, yeah I, think, I don't know maybe she means she wants something dirtier than that. Her face on me or yeah maybe I don't maybe or maybe I, she wants a tattoo of you on her face. Or maybe that's some kind of an English, English humor or something like that. <laughs> like dirty stuff. I can confirm it's definitely not English humor. <laughs> uh, another uh, Dana here, Dana Rudnick says, uh, would you guys rather have been kicked off of the X Factor when you guys were kicked off the X Factor, seeing that you guys are now superstars? Or did you guys get pissed that you didn't win the show? Um, no, because we kind of all, I think, as we go on Graph Falls, when I said this, we ended the competition as like an experience thing. So for us, it was like, you know, go home as a solo artist, not continue the experience in the group. So we just kind of gave it a go, and here we are now. Yeah, I think, you know, like if we won, then we might not be here now. So I think, you know, coming third was, was right for us, and I don't think we would change it. Now, if I remember correctly, it was Nicole Scherzinger who kind of gave the idea of putting you guys together. You guys That's ever... what she says. That's what oh, she says. Is that true? She said that, and uh, we saw her in New York at the premiere of Men in Black. She said that as well. So do you don't believe that at all? No, we do. But Simon says the same thing. They all say the same thing. Everybody says the same thing. I think I put you guys together. Do you guys say Mojo put you guys together? Yeah, okay, Mojo put us together. How often are you guys talking to Simon Cowell? Does he reach out to you on a daily or weekly basis? He's, he oversees everything we do, so you know everything that we do goes through him. And we know that if he needs to be to him, then he's there. He comes in to collect the Big Mac sacks of money at the end of the month, yeah. right? <laughs> and the underwear. Do you guys get underwear thrown on stage, or is that? Uh, yeah, more bras. recently, more. Bras? Really? Bras? And what do you do with it when once it's thrown on stage? Like, do you keep it secretly? <laughs> Shannon wants to know if you have any her size. Uh, we're talking small. Like the smallest. I saw her throw some The smallest. Yeah, oh, I love you her. Did? I'm not wearing one, see? Shannon. Hey, I am supposed to ask you, Zane, about Perry. There is a girl in your life named Perry, and all of your fans are dying to know the status of your relationship with her. Um, yeah, it's going pretty well. I'm going very well. So you're, you are taken? Um, yeah. What about you, Harry? I'm single. You're single? <laughs> Look how happy you <laughs> are. <laughs> All right, Ali uh, Hamzy asked this question. I don't know what this means after we just asked that, but is there anyone hiding their homosexuality? Definitely not. No? No. 
Uh, why are you pointing to me? Mojo. Yeah, Mojo. He's Mojo? Mojo, yeah. Mojo's Mojo hiding. Mojo's hiding his sexuality. And I don't feel the way he does his head. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I, my wife's there, and she's there to throw out the scent of the dogs. Uh, real quick, and then this is Shannon Sicken, and she actually sent us a great question. She said, if you were to be like X Factor and have to vote somebody that's in the group off right now, who would you vote off? Is there anybody that you guys, do you guys fight at all? We have like brutally squabbles about like the radio and the TV channel, but no, no big argument. Who what is you usually fight? fighting? Yeah. And, and what do you fight most about? Like when you're in the tour bus, you fight about the food, the girls, the like songs you're going to play? Like, they all seem to like have a, have a little dig at me because I like to keep the window open and they all cry because they like to be warm. <laughs> yeah, they, so. they don't physically cry, that's just the same. <laughs> and then this was a question that was brought up this morning. Rank the boy groups. You guys got to rank them from the, from the best to the, 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 the worst, I guess. But none of these are bad. The Beatles, NSYNC, New Kids on the Block, Backstreet Boys, One Direction. Who's number one? I would say Beatles first. Okay. Number two? I would say Backstreet Boys. Okay, so it's Harry. Then uh, new kids. All right. Then new kids. Yeah. Are you Where putting are you your guys? Are you guys putting Come your on. guys last? It's the only way we can do it without. We're the, we're the last. We're the last boy. We're the last. We're the most recent. So yeah. We're the most what What do you think when people say that you guys are the Beatles, the next Beatles? I think you know, like it's it's an amazing compliment. I mean, like for all of us, we all listen to the Beatles, so they were the boy band so it's an amazing compliment but I think you know when people say it, it's a bit we kind of dismiss it it's kind of ridiculous they're like such this massive icon so but you do have one up on them the debut album first by a UK group to ever hit number one in the states Beatles couldn't do that <coughs> yeah that's amazing pretty amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that blows us away but again it's just a massive compliment and you know we just we're very humbled by it that's cool all right this is a Rachel cough she's gonna ask the last question today from our <coughs> listeners she just wants to know how many times have you had sex? <laughs> have you? Harry, how many times have you? <laughs> Hold on, he wait a second, he's going to a calculator on his iPhone right now. Is that what that's for? I thought that's all the money that my, I thought that was the money. I've never had sex. Never? Oh good. Alright, Zane. I don't want to answer that question either. Don't want to answer that one? So basically what you're telling is you're saying Rachel, you are a pervert and you will not answer it. You have to tell it. Rachel, you're a pervert and I don't want to answer that. <laughs> you guys, Detroit is in love with you guys. They're going crazy for you right now. There's a lot of great music that's here in Detroit, and we just want to thank you guys for being part of the Mojo in the Morning Show. Thank you very much for having us. Thanks. Thanks for having us. All right. This is the home of techno. There you go. Yeah. yeah. All right. And Motown. Yeah. Motown's good. No, you didn't know that this was the home of Motown. No, no, no Motown. It was the home of techno. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. And homosexual. And, and home of the homosexual emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you guys. You guys are so Thanks very much.